Hi folks, Dr. Byer here. Today we're going to be talking about a very popular weed killer or pesticide that's used on our crops. You use it on your, on your lawn. It's everywhere. It's called Roundup. And literally what it contains is a very harsh chemical called gly glyphosate. These come at a cost. I know we all like our pretty yards and, and everything, but this wreaks a lot of havoc on our body. I'm going to talk about how it relates to our gut, our immune system, and our brain. Roundup, or glyphosate, is a pesticide. It kills bugs, and it does that very, very well. But what it also does is it's an antibiotic. It's like every time you smell this or work with this stuff, it's like you're taking an antibiotic into your system. It gets through our skin, we breathe it in, etc. And so what it'll do is it'll kill our gut flora, our good guys down in our gastrointestinal system, which has a very, very important uh, function for digestion, absorption, activating uh, certain vitamins, and uh, part of our immune system. So when we kill our gut flora by taking in this stuff, we're more prone to gut infections because we don't have the good guys there to counteract the bad guys. We're all exposed to different microbes that are not good for our gut every day. Now, the, the studies show that the type of infections that are really common when we take in this glyphosate or Roundup is our uh, Clostridium species, or C. diff, which is really, really common. I see it all the time in our stool test. Well, uh, Clostridium, when we get infected with Clostridium or C. diff, that this bacteria produces neurotoxins, which affects the brain, and will cause cognitive changes, like uh, brain fog, depression, anxiety, mood swings, lack of motivation, all these things that a lot of us suffer from. Also, when we have gut infections, we're gonna, obviously we're gonna have some gastrointestinal distress, which adds to inflammation, which is the common thing in all chronic illnesses, and malabsorption and all of its consequences, mainly fatigue. Gut infections is also a very, very serious and uh, intense autoimmune trigger. It triggers autoimmune attacks on those who have autoimmune disease. So this makes a strong case for avoiding these things or at least eating organic fruits and vegetables, folks. I know it's a little more costly, but you need to understand what this is doing to our systems. I'm Dr. Byer. Have a great day.